but you can't really talk about the future without investing in alternative mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. supply. And this is something that uh, AWS and Amazon as a whole has done for quite some time. What are you looking at right now and you see as the biggest opportunity going forward? The renewable energy space is a space that we have intentionally worked in that space for several years. And we were the largest corporate purchaser of renewable energy for four years running. Yep. We have over 500 projects uh, across the globe. Um, and we've invested billions of dollars into that space. Um, you kind of mentioned what the evolution of that space is. We see, you know, relying on carbon free energy as one of the most impactful ways to meet our net zero carbon by 2040 goal. We have recently announced three mm -hmm. different initiatives, um, specifically around small modular reactors. And, you know, when you think about beyond renewable energy and beyond the current kind of utility uh, power generation, nuclear and small modular reactors, that is the, the wave of the future. That's where the industry is going. That's where data centers need to go. Um, and so th those three- Can you explain a little bit more? Because sure. I know that people get really yeah. a little bit nervous when uh, nuclear. nuclear. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, n nuclear is interesting. And so uh, when you think of um, large scale nuclear reactors, um, those are the ones that you see in the headline news. Those are the current technology that exists. Um, there continues to be innovations and investments in that space. We continue in to, to work with companies to innovate and invest in scaling that technology in a very safe way and in a very you know, cost conscious way. The, the wave of the future in the nuclear space is SMRs. It's a significantly smaller footprint, much more fuel efficient, has a significantly faster build time. It's also a proven technology, yeah. right? SMRs have operated in our society for years, especially within our Navy and our armed forces, right? Our U.S. Navy nuclear fleet is powered by SMRs on board. We have engineers and, and operations, and, and there, there's a whole industry of folks that know this technology and, and that has, has proven it out. So we've kind of taken a three-prong approach to our SMR approach. Um, you know, we have two of our bigger regions are the Pacific Northwest yeah. and Northern Virginia. Right? We've partnered with utility companies in each of those areas, uh, Energy Northwest out in the Pacific Northwest, and, and we've partnered with them to invest in four SMRs up in their area, um, which will initially be 360 megawatts and could potentially scale up to 960 megawatts, which is roughly the amount of power for about 770,000 U.S. homes. We've done kind of a similar function with Dominion out in the, the yeah. U.S. East, um, where we are making an investment with for just about 300 megawatts of, of SMR technologies within their U.S. East area to, to power uh, carbon-free energy for the Virginia area. So the third prong is investing in the technology. And so we've, we've made an investment with X Energy, uh, which is a, a company that's developing SMRs to invest in five gigawatts of new nuclear SMRs. 